Hey guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today we are going to talk about my top lipsticks for fall season. I really have a bunch in front of me. So without further ado, let's begin swatching it on our hands as well as on our lips. So let's begin. The first lipstick that I am going to talk about is the newest lipstick actually that has landed in my collection and this is from Jason Wu and the lipstick shade is called Apple Pie. It's a beautiful coral shade but with like a hint of red in it. I really really like this shade. So let's swatch this and then I'll show it at the end of the video all the swatches together. But look how beautiful that shade is. Again, that shade is called Apple Pie. Now let's apply that on our lips. It's super moussey. It's super, super moussey. I really like to apply this like with a brown lip liner at the edge. Uh, just to make it a little more wearable but if you are more of like a fairer complexion than me this would absolutely be stunning absolutely stunning on you i am right now a lot more tan if it is my actual shade then that would like really really compliment me mm, i don't think it looks bad but uh, because i do have a tan i would pair it with like a brown lip liner which i think i did have it on the edges from the morning so yeah <laughs> Again, this one is Jason Wu's lipstick in the shade Apple Pie. Now let's move on to the next one. Now the second lip shade that I'm going to talk about is from Makeup by Mario. And this one is in the shade Fanda. Very, very sleek packaging and with like a magnetic closure. I really like it. Uh, Jason Wu's lipstick was not like a magnetic closure. It's more of a clasp in closure. And this lipstick is definitely like my everyday shade. It really matches to my lip shade. So as you can see, this is how Fanda looks. A very wearable shade on tan skin tone. It's really, really wearable, I would say. It definitely has that brown in it and that that's what i really like about this lipstick again this is like a more of like a creamy matte formula i really adore this one again this one is makeup by mario's fanda now the third lipstick that i have is from the same brand so i'm gonna combine it together and i'll show it to you on my lips too both of them are from l'oreal and from their color Riche line i have one in the shade radical rosewood and the other one is in the shade he thinks he's macho uh, one is little more comparable to the jason Wu one but uh, has a little more of like a red to it i don't know if you can see it or not did i even show you the makeup by mario swatch so again this is jason Wu. This is Makeup by Mario's Fanda and this is L'Oreal's Radical Rosewood. Definitely has that terracotta ness to the uh, shade. Let's swatch it. I definitely would prefer this shade over the Jason Wu one if you are more on the tanner side. Really, really love this one. Again, this is in the shade Radical Rosewood. Now, let me show you the other shade that I have from L'Oreal. And that is in the shade he think he's macho. And this is definitely like a chocolatey brown shade. I don't know how well can you see the difference <laughs> on my skin. But that is he think he's macho. Definitely like a true brown shade. Now let's put that on our lips. On my lips actually it looks a little more on the orangier side. Like a lot warmer. I generally do pair this also with like a lip liner. A browner lip liner. But this is how it looks. Again, this is L'Oreal's He Think He's Macho. Now let's move on to the next shade. This is more of a lip crayon and this is from Maybelline. And this one is in the shade Live on the Edge. This definitely has a lot more red in it. Let me swatch it here. I would be running out of space. So I don't know if you guys can see that or not. But this is definitely a lot more like deep and red in tone really really love that for fall so let's apply that on our lips super creamy super pigmented and super easy to apply it on your lips again this one is in the shade live on the edge now let's move on to the next one i'm losing my lip lines 
so i'm now dabbing it with my foundation brush the next two are also from the same brand again this is from maybelline and this is their ultimate lipstick and i have mine in the shade more taupe and more truffle so let me swatch both of them yeah let's do it here more taupe more truffle so let me show it to you this is more taupe and this is more truffle and this is what i had actually i had more taupe on my lips today first i'm going to apply more taupe so this is more of like that orangey brown shade i applied this with like a browner lip liner in the morning but this is how it looks by itself again this is in the shade more taupe now time for more truffle i love this shade like absolutely love this shade like for running out the door i do not want to like apply a lip liner or anything i love 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 applying more truffle again this is maybelline's ultimate in more truffle okay now let's move on to a lipstick formula which i absolutely love but it's not as pigmented as the ones that i showed you right now this is from the merits line and this is their merits signature lipsticks and i have mine in the shade 1990 and la avenue so let's apply that first i'll swatch it for you guys and it's more like a balmy very comfortable on the lips so the first one i did was la avenue and then i'm gonna do 1990 which is more on the brown shade and la avenue is a little more on the burgundy side i would say so as you can see it's definitely a little more on the sheerer side but super creamy and comfortable this burgundy one is la avenue and this one is 1990 from merit beauty now let's apply that on our lips so this is l avenue Now next I'm going to swatch 1990. I love this shade. I really love my brownie nudes. So this is definitely my comfort zone. Again, this is 1990. Okay, now let's talk about my favorite lipstick formulas from the drugstore. And this is their Milani Matte Fetish Lipsticks. And I have mine in the shade Desire and Passion. You've seen me quite a few times like applying this on my lips. So I'm quickly going to swatch it, not wasting much time. That's Desire and this is Passion. You get the gist, I either wear brown or I wear burgundy shades in fall. <laughs> so let me show it to you. The brown one is Desire and the burgundy one is Passion. So now let's apply that on our lips. This is Desire. This is like my everyday shade for office. I really, really love that. Again, this is Desire. Now let's swatch Passion. This is Passion from Milani. Really, really unusual shade. Even though it is a burgundy shade, it's super unique in my collection, I would say. Okay, now let's move on to some Pat McGrath lipsticks. I have two to mention. One is in the shade Divine Brown and the other one is in the shade Elson. Elson is a beautiful red shade. I feel like fall is incomplete without a red shade. So I wanted to include one red shade. What happened to this? <gasps> my Pat McGrath lipsticks. Oh my God, can you see that? The glue came off. Man, I hope I can figure this out. I did. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Okay, this is Divine Brown. Again, a very chocolatey brown shade. That was so weird. It should never happen to Pat McGrath for sure. This is Elson, the red one. And the chocolatey brown shade is Divine Brown. That Divine Brown shade definitely has a hint of red in it, but it's very deep, deep, deep brown. So let's apply that. This is Elson. You absolutely have to excuse my lipstick application. And this is Pat McGrath Elson. A true cool tone red, I would say. Really love that shade. I really need a lip liner with this. <laughs> That's what I need. Okay, now let's move on to Divine Brown. Again, a very deep, edgy brown shade. I really love this one. And this is Divine Brown. And this is more of like a cream finish on my lips. So if you are looking for like a cream finish, this is 
really really amazing but if you're looking for a, like a liquid lipstick in the same color story the next one is for you so let's wipe this now last certainly not the least i'm going to talk about my jacqueline cosmetics liquid lipstick and this one is in the shade feisty really love this one for fall so let's apply that and these are super long wearing too And this is the last one. This is Jaclyn Cosmetics Feisty. I didn't have much liquid lipsticks to talk about and that's because I am very, very particular about my lipstick formulas. And for the fall, this really seemed like apt and I love this formula. A very thin layer can feel very, very comfortable on the lips, but the pigmentation is so nice. When you see it, it feels like a matte liquid lipstick. You just need to give it like a minute to dry it down. But it stays long for such a such a long time i really really love them this is actually a lot kiss proof too i don't know if it's like set or not because it's not even been a minute that i've applied it so i really want it to set down and i'll show you how beautiful it is but all the lipsticks that i talked about today are like super wearable super comfortable on the lips so this is like the darkest lipstick right so, so let me give you a kiss test so you can see like a very less amount comes out so it lingers around on your lips for a long long time and i love this formula i really really love them i have several of this in my collection but this definitely for the fall i would say two thumbs ups oh i didn't swatch it so let me swatch this i'm going to swatch this here because i do not have any space so let's take a recap these are all my fall lipsticks swatched for you guys so let's begin. This is still wet, but this is Jacqueline Cosmetics Feisty. This is Maybelline's Lip Crayon in Live on the Edge. Then we have Jason Wu's Lipstick in Apple Pie. Then we have Makeup by Mario's Fanda. Then we have L'Oreal Lipstick in the shade Radical Rosewood. Then we have L'Oreal Lipstick in the shade He Thinks He's Macho. Then we have Maybelline's Ultimate Lipstick in the shade More Taupe. And then we have the Ultimate Lipstick in the shade More Truffle. Then we have Merit Beauty's L Avenue Signature Lipsticks. And then we have Merit Beauty's 1990. We have Milani Matte Fetish in the shade Desire. We have Milani Lipstick in the shade Passion. We have Pat McGrath's Elson. And we have Pat McGrath's Divine Brown. So those are all the lipsticks swatched for you guys. I really hope that this video was helpful for you guys. I really hope that you guys liked my lipstick selection for the fall season. If you did like it, definitely do let me know which out of these lipsticks do you think looks best on me. Leave it down in the comment section below. But also you have to let me know what is your go-to fall lip shade in the comment section below. But yes, that's all for today. If you did like this video, do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post next. I generally upload three videos every single week, every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.